Hey everyone, welcome back for another video. The team that we're going to be looking at today is our 2024 Alabama Crimson Tide football team. This team's had a complete revamp, a complete makeover. Nick Saban retired, Kalen DeBoer in, and they've been working the new roster pretty hard. We are going to completely preview this team, seeing what pieces they lost from last year's team, what pieces they are adding to the 2024 team. But we're also going to look over their entire 2024 football schedule, going game by game, seeing which games we think they're going to win, which games we think they're going to lose, and what we predict their final record will be for the regular 2024 season. College football, it's just around the corner. We are down to our last off-season week. Kickoff is almost here. Alabama, even with Saban gone, they still have national championship aspirations. They're probably going to still make the playoffs, so the buildup is still there, and we almost have kickoff. Go ahead and Hit that like button and subscribe. If you have any comments, drop them below and I will respond. So our 2024 Alabama Crimson Tide. Vegas has them coming in at nine and a half wins. That's a pretty good season. Bama fans, you probably think that's not good enough. You are used to this team 10 and 2 at worst, usually 11 and 1 or undefeated. But no worries, this team is loaded. But Nick Saban, the GOAT himself, did retire this offseason. That is massive shoes to fill. They're bringing in Caleb DeBoer, the head coach from Washington. Do not scoff at Kalen DeBoer. This guy's overall win-loss record is incredible. Great coach. Look at what he did with Washington with three stars and just a handful of four stars. He got them to the national championship last season. Yes, they lost, but he got them there with a far less overall talented team than this current Bama squad. This team is loaded with four and five star players and a Heisman level quarterback with Milrow. We know what DeBoer did with Penix, with Odunze. He's going to light it up no matter where he goes. So just sit tight. He's going to be able to carry this team. But Kalen DeBoer is taken over. The bar is set so high. Can DeBoer live up to the expectations? Well, he has a top three roster. ESPN has Alabama's roster as the number one overall roster in all of football. He's been recruiting just like Saban and work in the portal. Top five recruiting, top five transfer portal classes with Milrow. 40 players left from last year's team. That's through the draft and through the portal. But DeBoer was able to replace them. This guy knows what he's doing. Just give him some time. The talent is still there to make a run for the SEC, to make a run for the playoffs, and potentially make a run for the national championship. DeBoer is going to light it up with the talent. Ryan Grubb was the offensive coordinator. He's an air raid guy, but he's off to the NFL. So Nick Sheridan will be taking over as the offensive coordinator. But he's from the same scheme, so everything is going to stay the same. Milrow loves the deep ball. Needs to work on a short pass, but loves the deep ball. DeBoer is a deep ball guy. They're going to be throwing bombs nonstop. Running back Haynes, he's going to be the bell cow at the running back position. But the team needs to make sure to find a shorthanded number one wide receiver to step up. We don't know who it is just yet, but DeBoer will scheme someone into that role. Could be Williams, could be Bernard. We'll just have to wait to see. Bama always has a top 20 defense, usually a top 10 defense. They're going to have it again this season. The defensive coordinator is Kane Womack. He's now stepping in as the coordinator. A little bit of a different scheme, but he worked with Saban. They're going to make sure to have it work out, and there's a lot of returning starters. There's Keenan. There's a linebacker's Lawson and Campbell. There's a safety Malachi Moore. All NFL talents just give them some time. So let's take a look at this 2024 Alabama schedule. They kick things off Saturday, August 31st versus Western Kentucky. Western Kentucky runs an air raid. They throw for 5,000 yards a season. Their defense is pathetic, but they can score some points. They're not really going to score that many points versus Bama. We got Bama winning this first one. It's going to be a little bit of a shootout as they, well, not a shootout, but it might be a little wrinkly up you know the first couple possessions because they're getting used to this scheme but they're going to catch fire they're going to win 55 to 13 they're one and oh saturday september 7th versus south florida this was that pathetic game from last season where bama won like 17 three was tied at halftime or something like that i don't know what happened that game it was rainy it was muddy that's not going to happen this year south florida though is a really good team you know for the conference they play in they i think they won nine games last season but 
This game's not going to be close. Bama's going to continue to cruise. They're going to win this one 48 to 17 2 0. Next game, Saturday, September 14th at Wisconsin. This is kind of an interesting out of conference game. It's an SEC versus Big Ten game. Wisconsin. You have Luke Fickle, great coach. You have Phil Longo as the offensive coordinator. Tyler Van Dyke is stepping in as the quarterback. They had a top 25 defense last season. They will continue to have that. Their main issue has been the offense, scoring points, getting first downs. But they're a better team. You know, it's a 7-8 win team this season as they continue to get better each year. But Bama just has way too much talent. But it's kind of an interesting game, Bama going to Madison, Wisconsin. But I have Bama going there, getting the win 37 to let's say 20 and or 3 and 0. Saturday, September 28th versus Georgia. Georgia's revenge game. Georgia's mad. Bama knocked them out of the SEC championship, beat them, took their spot in the playoffs. Georgia wants revenge. It's not on the same team because that Nick Saban's gone and a lot of that team's gone, but I have Georgia getting the win here. Not that I think that Georgia's way more talented than Bama, but obviously you have Beck, you have a top three roster still just like Bama. They're loaded on defense, going to have a top five defense, top five offense, just like last season. I just think Georgia's more familiar in their scheme. They've been in the same scheme a couple years now. Bama's in a new scheme, so that's going to give the edge to Georgia, but it's going to be a super close game. Georgia's going to win this one, let's say a 20, a 30 to 27, Bama's three and one. Then Saturday, October 5th at Vanderbilt. There's no home field advantage for Vanderbilt. Bama wants revenge after that loss versus Georgia. They're going to pummel them. They're going to win 52 to 10, and they're four and one. Saturday, October 12th at South Carolina. South Carolina, Rattler's gone. Beamer's on the hot seat. Massive talent advantage for Bama here. They're going to continue to roll through them. 48 to 13, five and one. Saturday, October 19th at Tennessee. Tennessee's team is loaded. Bama's going to be the favorite here. If Tennessee won, I would not be surprised. You have Nico, five-star quarterback, stepping in, picking up right where he left last season. You have Squirrel White. You have a very, very talented wide receiver core. They can run. They had a top 30 defense last season. Very well-rounded team. If it's a shootout, Tennessee can get in a shootout with anyone, and they can win the game. So they have the skill on offense and defense, kind of a 50-50, but I'm going to go with Bama getting the win at Tennessee, 32-28. Very close game, very close, and they're 6-1. and one. Saturday, October 26th versus Missouri. Bama's schedule so tough, I think they're a little beat up at this point. They just played Georgia, they just played Tennessee, two potential top 15 teams. I think Missouri catches them off guard. Missouri has kind of a cupcake schedule this season for being an SEC team. I just think they're more rested, and that's why they beat Bama. I don't think they're as talented as Bama, but they still have Cook, Burden, very talented team, talented defense, lost their coordinators, but still very good. I think Missouri just catches them kind of getting back into the swing of things after being a little beat up in the trenches. Missouri wins this one 27 to 21. Bama is what that would be six and two. Then Saturday, November 9th at LSU. Tough place to play. Death Valley, LSU. They lost Jaden Daniels. They lost offensive coordinator Denbrock. Their defensive line is going to be better, but they're still going to have a lot of questions on defense. They really didn't work the portal on the defensive side. I have Bama getting revenge. You're not going to keep this team down. They just lost to Missouri. Should have won that game, so they're going to come into LSU, and they're going to beat them 38-24, to and Bama's 7-2. and Saturday, November 16th versus Mercer. This game's not going to be close. They're going to pummel them 52-10. to Eight and two. Saturday, November 23rd at Oklahoma. Going to Oklahoma. These teams have played a couple times in the playoffs. It's going to be a fun game. Oklahoma's kind of like Tennessee. Solid defense. Very skilled on the offensive side. They have Faruka wide receiver. They have five-star quarterback coming and picking up where he left off in the bowl game last season when he threw for 400 yards. The team's talented. Brent Venables will have them ready to go. But I have Alabama coming to town with their A game, winning this one 33 to 25 nine and two finishing the season saturday november 30th versus auburn we all know that game from last season what a crazy like fourth and 80 
they won the game somehow. I don't have that game being close. Hugh Freeze is going to have Auburn ready to roll. They are building something. They're probably going to be like an eight and four team. Very good defense. Offense questionable from last season, but bringing in a lot of portal players. Peyton Thorne's back at quarterback. Bama, they're not going to let it be close this season. They're going to want to be look. They're they're looking at a possible SEC championship or a potential playoff run here. They're going to want to finish hot. Bama's going to beat Auburn. Let's put this one at a thirty to 17 Bama finishes the regular season 10 and 2 10 and 2 might get you in the SEC championship might not but either way I think Bama's going to make it to the playoffs no matter what so I have Bama going 10 and 2 having a very strong first season for Kalen DeBoer go ahead hit that like button and subscribe if you have any comments drop them below and I will respond thank you